What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Pages with Paige, and today we're doing a Not Safe for work -thon announcement. to be bringing Not Safe for Workathon back. We took a bit of a hiatus in June. Um, I wasn't in a position to be able to run a readathon. I found that in the March round I was in a similar sort of state and I was just really lacking in being able to do things for it. And I do want to be dedicating as much time as possible. So I feel like September, when this round is going to be running, is going to be an excellent time and so we can bring it back better and beautiful and I can't wait to introduce the prompts for the Not Safe for Workathon BDSM edition. Not Safe for Workathon is going to be running through the entire month of September. And the reason is we have 25 prompts. But the way that we're doing it is in a bingo form and I'll leave it up here. I've got it on my phone so then I can actually refer to it. Essentially what you want to do is start with consent. And so for that you need to DM or tag the co-host in your TBR so then we can see that you've consented to participate in our scene. Don't forget to use your safe word which is to officially DNF a book and count it as read if you need it. Then we want you to build your scene. So we have 25 different forms of prompts. Four of those are looking after yourself, looking after the members of the community, and then the remaining 20 are book prompts, as well as one special one, which I absolutely adore and it cracks me up every time. So you also then have the choice of finishing with some aftercam, which is to read a book that makes you feel warm and fuzzy or safe. So I thought that was a nice little way to round it off. You don't have to do it. All of this is optional but we just wanted to make it as inclusive as possible. So for this, the idea is building the scene that you want to have. So you might decide that you like, you want to include some edge play. And so you read the book for that. You then might decide that you want to have a little bit of fire play or you've got a bit of a thing for a blindfold. So you do those prompts. They don't have to be a bingo. You can do as many or as little as you want. It's just set in the bingo layout because it made the most sense and we could fit the most amount of fun activities on. So, are you ready? And I will be doing videos for next month. I'm giving you some recommendations for each of these prompts. The first prompt is butt plug and that's to read a book over 500 pages. Pretty straightforward. Next is a gimp mask so read a book with a black cover or if you wanted to you could do something like being in disguise the choice is yours the next is community spirit and that's to uplift uplift some members of the community so whether that be a shout out just randomly um, posting on other people's videos and saying a nice thing that makes them feel good anything and anything of uplifting um, community members the next is edge play and then that's to read a dual perspective next is submission service so someone else picks for you now I have I have three prompts that are sort of a little bit more active rather than here's a prompt, fill it. So submission service being one of those with someone else picking a book for you. The next is fire play and read a book you considered hot. So that could be fire in the cover, it could be a steamy read, that there are a lot of opportunities for steamy reads, like this is intentional. Um, it, so it could just have red or yellow or orange or blue if you wanted to because that's a hot flame, like any and anything. They're very loose prompts, it's just meant to have some fun. Next is Impact, and that is a powerful or intimidating book. Also, feel free to double, triple, quadruple up, however you want to do this, feel free. Um, so if an over 500 page book is also an intimidating book, you can count both of those, that is fine. Next is St. Andrew's Cross, do some stretches or get a massage. So I'm excited for this. Next is Rope, a book you've been wanting to read for a while, but you've been tied up. So interpret that how you will. Next is Electric Play, featuring elements in some capacity. For me, I think of electricity and that sort of works into the elements or Greek mythology with Zeus, like anything and anything, however you want to interpret elements, go for it. The next is my second in our leave it to chance and that's blindfold. Either go in blind or be blindfolded and pick your read. The next is food play, book with food on the cover or set at a cafe or restaurant. Next is free space. Yeah, vanilla bitch. <laughs> 
glorious. So that was the one special prompt. Next up we have ice play, which is chilling subject matter. Next we have foot fetish. So this is from the bottom of your TBR pile. Next is breath play, a book that will leave you breathless or panting. The next is bite mark, one you've been dying to sink into. And thank you Wit for her story that created this prompt. Munch, have a tasty snack. Handcuffs, key on the cover or a freeing book. Again, interpret that how you will. Um, for me personally, I'm probably gonna go down the road of something enlightening and that sort of changes my perspective on something. Pet play, animal on the cover. Dom, a strong protagonist of any gender. It could be a non-binary character. That would be amazing. Holy shit, I need to look for that. Next is spanking, something that's gonna leave a mark. Medical play, do something to look after your health. So if you want to go for a walk or stay hydrated and actually drink a bottle of water, anything very simple, whatever works for you and your health needs. Next is soft limit slightly outside your comfort zone. So for me, I would probably go like a classic fantasy. I like my fantasies, but the classics seem to daunt me a little bit, Or, but I love fantasy in general, so that's okay. Um, or maybe going, you could go even further outside your comfort zone, it just depends on what you want. And finally, my third sort of funky one is switches. Mood read or switch out a claimed book on your TBR. So you don't need to claim any books if you don't want to. I will be making a TBR that will correlate with this. Um, and yeah, but that just offers you the opportunity for a mood read or to switch something out if you realize that you're not really wanting to read it. So that's the prompts. I can't wait to do all the recommendations. I'm very keen. That's it. Start with consent if you would like to DM or tag us just to let us know that you're going to participate. Then don't forget to use your safe word whenever you need to. Feel free to DNF at any point in time. And if you want to finish with some aftercare, read a warm and fuzzy book or one that makes you feel safe. For the actual bingo, you do not need to get an actual bingo. If you just want to pick one thing, go for it. If you want to pick five things, go for it. If you want to pick all 25, poor good... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's up to you how you want to do this. There is a lot of room for interpretation and that's what I like in a readathon so then I don't have to feel restricted but I can still participate in something and have a lot of fun. Hello, editing me here. Um, so I also forgot to mention that my co-hosts for this round are going to be Kara from Bianca Reading and Caitlin from Manchester Rabbit and KJ from Bookish KJ. So KJ is the main inspiration behind this and I'm so thankful that she came into my Twitter DM and was like, hey, this could be a really good round because I am so excited for it. So don't forget, running through the entire month of September, if you want to claim a TBR, feel free. If not, um, just let us know, DM, tag us. All our links will be in the description box below as well as the link to the prompts, the bingo board, and any other additional information that you may need. Do you think I've forgotten anything, Ash? I think that's it. If you have any questions, concerns, um, feel free to... It, DM me on Twitter, leave a comment, any and all. I'm more than happy to respond and I can't wait for this to happen. Ah! Let me know in the comments if you're going to be participating in this round of Not Safe Workathon and or if there was a particular uh, thing that you would like to include in your scene. If you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you on my next video. Bye!